Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I'm going to show you all how to create a program that takes text from an online article and converts it to speech. Now I got this idea a while back when I was reading a few articles and I wondered could I create a program that read the article to me instead of me having to read the article. This way I could save some time by listening to the article and doing something else. So I'm going to show you all how to create that program in this video step by step. Now before we get started, there are some prerequisites. One, you will need the Python programming language installed onto your computer. More specifically, I'm using Python 3. And so I suggest you use that as well. And two, although it's not really required in IDE to program on, so I'm programming on the IDE called PyCharm, and you can get that from the PyCharm website. But again, it's not truly necessary. It's just highly recommended by me because it allows you to see some of your mistakes. All right, well, with that all being said, let's go ahead and get started writing the program. So the first thing I like to do is put a description of the program. So this way I can look back at the program and know what it does or what it's supposed to do or what it was used for. So this program takes text from an online article and converts it to speech. Okay, next I want to import the libraries. So from newspaper, I want to import article, which is a Python module for extracting and parsing newspaper articles. Then I want to import NLTK, which is a Python module to work with human language data. And from GTTS, I want to import GTTS, which is a Python module for text to speech conversion. And last but not least, I want to import OS. And this is a Python module for interacting with the operating system. All right, so next, I want to get the article. So I have an interesting article that I want to get. And it's called Future of Python Language Bright or Dull. And it's from the hackernoon.com website. And it was written by T.R. Brown Neal. So I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. But I'm going to just take this link here and copy it. OK. So let's go back to our IDE. And let's get that article. So I'm going to create a variable called article and set it equal to article constructor. And inside here, I'm going to give it the URL string. So I'm just going to paste it here. And again, it's https colon slash slash hackernoon.com slash future dash of dash python dash language dash bright dash or dash dull dash uv41u3xwx okay it's an interesting article I strongly suggest it uh, for for reading so now we want to download the article so to do this we just type article dot download method and this will allow us to download the article okay now next I want to parse the article, so just type article.parse method, and this allows us to parse the article. So pretty simple so far. Next, we need to download the PUNKT package, or as I call it, punked. So to do that, just type nltk.download. And then tell it what package you want to download. So we're going to put in that string, P-U-N-K-T. And that should download the punk package. All right. And then we also want to apply NLP on the article. So to do that, just type article.nlp method. 
and NLP is short for natural language processing. So here we apply NLP, which is natural language processing. Okay. All right. Let's get the article's text next and store it into a variable called my text. So I'm going to create that variable called my text now and I'm going to set it equal to article.text. So now article article.text contains the text of the article from hackernoon.com and we have just stored it in the variable called my text. Okay, so now I want to print the text. So to do that, just type print and then my text inside that parameter and that should print the text to the screen. Next, we're going to choose a language for the speech. So I'm going to create a variable called language and I'm going to set it equal to EN, which stands for English. Okay, so now that's the language that will be spoken. And we can change this to a few things, um, like for example, Portuguese. So that's pretty cool. I, I really think that's really, really cool. But we're going to use English for this video. Okay, next we want to pass the text and the language to the engine to convert the text to speech. So here we will convert the text to speech. And to do that, I'm going to create a variable called my obj, which will be short for my object. And I will set it equal to gtts constructor. And we're going to give it the text. So the text is going to equal my text. And then we're going to give it the language. So lang is going to equal language. And then slow will equal false. Now I have marked slow equal to false, which tells the module that the converted audio should have a high speed. And we're really almost done here. So my OBJ does that conversion for us. Now let's save the converted audio to a file. So to do that, we just type my OBJ dot save and we're going to give it give that file a name. So I'm going to call it read underscore article dot MP3 because it needs to be an MP3 file. And then I'm going to tell my operating system to play that file. So we're going to play the converted file. Now to do this, we just type os.system and this will allow us to do some system commands. So I'm going to use the, the start command to start the mp3 file. So to start read underscore article dot mp3. Okay, so that should do it. I think we're done. Everything looks pretty good. Now let's run the program. And if it takes too long, then I just pause the video and start it up when the program finishes. of today and the future in contemporary times 126,424 websites are made using the Python programming language okay so I'm just gonna pause it right there you can hear the the article being read now using that read underscore article dot mp3 file so that's really basically it I hope you all enjoyed this video Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. I try my best to answer them. I don't always get to them. Um, become a subscriber on my channel for more videos on Python and programming in general and machine learning. And if you all found this video helpful, please share it. Maybe others will find it helpful as well. 
and again thank you all for watching my videos and I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you all in the next video.